What's going on everyone? We're at another new amusement park here in Europe. Today is Jers Summerland located in Nimtofte, Denmark. I've heard a lot of really good things about this park from the people that do go. Not too much in totality because it is definitely, does seem to be an underrated park to me. You don't get too many people that visit this place. It is quite remote. We drove three and a half hours from Copenhagen to come here and it is in the middle of nowhere, but it does absolutely look like a good time. There's three coasters I'm really excited to do here. They're all manufactured by Intamin. We got the only Megalite outside of Asia, which is really cool. We got an Intamin family launch coaster, kind of, although it kind of looks intense, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that is. That's called Juvelin. And then we have Drakongen, which is an inverted coaster by Intamin. So yeah, really excited for this park. It's going to be a great time. Weather is a little spotty right now. We might get little rain showers here and there, but hopefully all the rides stay open. This is Europe, so I'm definitely expecting them to. We do see everything running so it should be okay yeah let's head in i'm um, probably going to go for puritan first and i'll see you guys there oh yeah we're on puritan it is raining for my first ride on this so that's interesting but i'm very excited whoa look at this view holy crap here we go Oh, oh my god. a megalite okay that was cool it is literally raining like quite a lot so that's interesting but yeah no that was a really fun ride and they're running two trains nice gonna have to do that a couple times that was fun all right we just got off of puritan for our first time i got the second to very back which i think is going to be the best seat and a lot of people were telling me don't do that in the morning wait for it to warm up and but since i got here like two and a half hours after open anyways i figured why not just do it right away and definitely yes it's cold and i think it might be running a little slow but i still loved it like it was really good my favorite part was the uh triple s bend airtime thing all of them like crazy ejector like it's it's really really intense there the rest of the ride definitely could be faster like i could literally like imagine it being faster there and if so i think the whole ride experience would be just perfect like it would be so much fun but for now we're heading to dracon and i really want to get this credit done this is an inverted coaster but it has a launch at the beginning i believe which is really weird definitely excited to ride it it's quite unique and you know i love my intimins so love that they have three unique intimins in this park all of which are so different from one another so let's give it a ride dracon and guys here we go section damn that was awesome oh look and the sun's starting to come out some more that's awesome okay i have high hopes this is really really cool the theming on the launch sequence is amazing guys like and this layout looks super fun i'm i'm definitely excited for this one here we go Wow, what a fun 
own layout. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, excellent family coaster. Wow. I definitely want to try it in the back though. That was super fun. A little bit more rattly than I expected. Not that I want to complain about roughness here, but everything else was pretty much perfect. All right, we're on the back road tracking it now. Here we go. That is too much fun in the back. What the hell? Okay. Guys, look at this. It's sunny out now. Yay. And hopefully that means Pure Retention running a bit faster. I'm pretty sure it will be. Here we go. Gosh, wow. Okay, the only thing that I think it could use improvement on is it's not as smooth as it appears on paper, but literally everything else about this is like perfect. This is an awesome ride. All right, I just got off of Drakung and once in the front and once in the back. That is a great family inverted coaster. It's everything I was hoping for. I will say one thing I think that it could use work on is the smoothness. I was expecting a smoother ride experience. However, take that aspect out of the picture. This is literally a perfect family coaster. Like this is what every park should aspire to do with a family coaster. This ride is fantastic. I'm really glad I have done that. I think it's super fun. It's super unique. I love that little pre-lift section with that launch. That's a lot of fun. Man, that is great. I really like all the intimates here so far. I'm really excited to do Jubilin, which I hear packs a really crazy punch. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's do that next. Oh my God, we're on Jubilin. I'm stoked out of my mind for this ride for some reason. I don't know why. This just looks so fun. Here we go. A little bit of theming. Oh my god, here it goes. Oh my god. Whoa, oh, this is so fun. This is so smooth. Here we go. Intamins here so much. Oh my god. Just got off of Juvelin. My god. Okay, let me just say there's three Intamins in this park and all of them kick ass. Like they are all so much fun and they do their own thing. Like there's no similarity between the three. It's literally just like a highlight reel for Intamin. It's so fun. This one is really fast paced in the second half. The first half, not so much. The first half reminds me more of Wavebreaker at SeaWorld San Antonio. And then the second half is just like balls to walls, like craziness. That is awesome. Oh my God, I love the top three here so much. Like I could rewrite all of those all day long. But for now we're heading onto Thor's Hammer. This is a Gerstler or bobsled coaster. So think Wild Mouse, but with a bunch of extra cool elements that you don't normally see on a Wild Mouse coaster. I'm talking transitions like S-Bends, Helixes, that kind of thing. And so I'm really excited to do this. I've never done one of these Gerstler or bobsled coasters before. So let's give it a ride. This thing looks fun.
this looks really fun. This has a cool layout. This park is gorgeous, by the way. What? All right, there we go. Got a drop to start things off. It's really smooth, too. Ooh, trimless. Whoa! Laterals are quite intense. <laughs> Alright, you got a helix. A bunch of helixes. Oh, these are intense. Alright. A couple of airtime hills. Wow, this is a pretty ride too. Definitely one of the best wild mice I've done. I just love that layout, that's so fun. Thor's Hammer was pretty fun. That was a nice wild mouse coaster, a bobsled coaster, you know what I mean. It's a unique layout, so it has like helixes and stuff like that. And the helixes are quite fun. They're a little zippy. But regardless, I mean, this park is lovely. Like this is a really nice park to just be in. All the staff are super nice and the park is landscaped incredibly well. Look at this. We found two Danish people and they're very curious that we're, why Americans are in Denmark. This is for YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. If it goes viral, I'm gonna be so happy. Hi. They're so embarrassed to be in my video right now. No. Don't worry guys, no one's judging you. All right, front row Puritan. I'm stoked for this. I think this might surprise me and be a front row ride, but we'll see. This view is absolutely, you can literally see cow out in the distance. This is amazing. All right, here we go. Oh! It's actually very smooth up here. Whoa! Whoa! Wow, let me say, Puritan in the very front was bonkers. Like, that's exactly what I was hoping for. I don't know if it's gonna be better in like the very back because I do think it's warmed up quite a bit since when I first wrote it. That was just so good though. Some sustained moments of airtime, some pops of airtime, like it's all super fun. That's definitely now my favorite in the park. Before I was kind of contemplating, which I know is very unpopular. Now I definitely think I'm confident with saying, yeah, that's the best in the park. So we're on a water coaster that I'm not even going to try to pronounce. It's like Sky Owen or something like that. God, I, I'm so bad with Danish. But hey, look, I just wanted to prove a point. This park does not hold back on theming. Like, they actually do a really good job here. What do we got going on here? Oh, no. Oh, boy. That's not good. It's a really cool statue, though. Wow. Okay, it's time for our eighth and final coaster here at Jura Summerland. I did the two kitty coasters off camera, but this is the park's newest coaster. I wanted to film this real quick. This is a powered coaster, and this actually makes up quite a lot for the powered coaster we missed yesterday at Tivoli Gardens. It's the same model. And they have onboard audio, that's pretty wild. Welcome on board the T-Race family coaster. New nice. Get The name is literally T-Rex family roller coaster. Very creative. Whoa, this is kind of cool. We're passing through all sorts of... The queue line actually had like some T-Rex animatronics that were really, really cool. Oh my god. Okay, pretty mild, pretty mild. It is a power coaster after all. Long 
a train though. We were actually in the very back row right now. Good family ride though. I'm gonna shut the GoPro footage off because I don't wanna get copyrighted. So guys, we found this slide thing. I've never seen this in an amusement park before. And there's no ride up, it's manually operated. You hit this button to go. Go for it, Sean. Oh my God, should we race? Okay, we're racing, I guess. Here we go. Oh my God. What's going on? Oh, oh! Okay, you don't get wet at all. That's so fun. Whoa, that was so fun. All right, we're just wrapping up a day here at Jura Summerland. Wanted to quickly review the park. Guys, this place is, this is an awesome park. Like, it's just a great place. They don't do anything inherently wrong, to be honest with you. They definitely focus on families. You can tell there's the ride lineup very much reflects that. The atmosphere very much reflects that. All the staff are very playful. It's a wonderful place. I really do enjoy it. Their top three, uh, all being intimate, are fantastic. I loved all of them. They also have some pretty unique flat rides here that I saw. And just overall, great atmosphere. Like, it really is just a really well-rounded family-owned park. I'd recommend any coaster enthusiast traveling through Denmark to stop here. This might actually be the best park in the country. We're gonna see how it fares up to Fair Up Summerland tomorrow. But so far, this is my second favorite park of the trip, just behind Energylandia. I prefer to Bakken, Tivoli, Legendia, etc. It's a great place. Stay tuned tomorrow. We're gonna be at Fair Up Summerland, an hour and a half north, to ride the brand new Phonix coaster, which is gonna be my 500th credit, guys. Huge day. So see you guys then. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.